Hello, everybody. It is time for a Hot Wheels A case unboxing. This is the 2018 Hot Wheels A case. This means we are in a new year for Hot Wheels. Of course, this case was sent to us by A and J Toys. They are an official Mattel dealer. That is where you will get your cases, the legitimate cases that come from Mattel. And this one arrived a few days ago at A and J Toys. They sent it over here, and we are going to do an unboxing. So let's have my box opener. I'm going to cut it right open get this one going so it is exciting 2018 is the 50th anniversary of Hot Wheels we will see that reflected in the packaging I know we've already showcased some of these 2018 models um, that came from wheel collectors but it is time to start looking at what the case assortments will be these will be out in stores oh in the next I'd say month or so maybe even sooner than that because uh, we've got uh, We've got the Q case, Q cases hitting at Walmart's right now with some Zamax. If I get those, I'll feature them. But let's get going right away. I'm going to get my lighting. All right. Very interesting right out of the gate to see a Nissan GTR from a several batches ago. But that happens in the international cases. As a matter of fact, let's see. Volkswagen Golf MK7. I'm going to move this right here. Volkswagen Golf MK7, 2017 Nissan GTR R35, and the Datsun 620. This is the Datsun 620. It's a brand new model for 2018. Well, not a new model, but a new livery. You can see the Japanese Nostalgia Car logo on there. Because we featured this one. Oh, how long ago? Um, maybe, what was it, Saturday? As part of the Japanese Nostalgia Car feature that we did um, on all the cars that share that logo. All right, I'm trying to get uh, all the lighting right here. There we go. I'm trying to do this quickly, probably too quickly. Okay. There's the artwork. Why am I spending so much time on this one? Well, because it is the Super Treasure Hunt. In the 2018 A case, it is the first Super Treasure Hunt of the year. And guess what? I've got it. Right there, Mattel sent this over. I'm going to showcase and open this one in another video. So it's very cool of them to send it to showcase these super treasure hunts, I think, in a proper way. Give them their proper due as opposed to some of these pictures that show up on uh, on some websites with the car not totally complete, so on and so forth. Um, so thanks to Mattel for doing that. We will uh, we will get to that in a little bit. All right. Gazella GT, Gazella GT, SkyFi. Trying to make some room over here. Another Gazella, the Gazelle R. You can see by the packaging that these are 2017 models. And then the custom 01 Acura Integra GSR. We saw this as a first to market in the Kmart case. And you can see, obviously, by the artwork. That, well, that's interesting. You can see by the artwork that um, it is a, it's the new artwork. It's a 2018 model. But here is, now when Mattel sent over the uh, Super Treasure Hunt. Here, in fact, we'll just use the... Uh, this is very interesting. So we've noticed sometimes they mark new models, but here is both, right? So here's the one I just pulled from that 2018 International case. And you notice under the Hot Wheels, it is blank there. This, the one that Mattel sent, they sent the Super and the uh, regular edition, and you notice the 50th anniversary logo there. So that's one way, I think, in 2018 to determine um, what's an international card. I mean, the Oh, look, even there, there's no, there's the red symbol there, but no red writing. We're going to be looking at all this stuff. Okay, you know what? Let's just do this. I'm probably getting ahead of myself. Since we have both, let's look at both. U.S. card. Here's the back. Dotson 620, Hot Wheels, Hot Trucks, 4x4 is a trucks, ready to work or race. There's a code here for HotWheels.com. Here's the international card. No 50th anniversary logo. Car is the same, but here's the back. Hot trucks and a lot of information there, but very different than the other card. Codes are different as well. This one has the code on the side. This one has the zero to three warning. 
So there you go. This will be the difference between the 2017 and two, or I'm sorry, the international and the U.S. cards. I guess that helps, right? Cars are exactly the same. Except for the super there. So I'll put those to the side for the next video. But hopefully that uh, that helps for this feature. Let me keep that organized. All right. Hope that wasn't too much of a tangent. Hope that helps as we move forward. I'm sure that A&J will send over the uh, regular uh, or the U.S. case for the, the A case when he gets it, when Ken gets it. And when he does, I will make sure to uh, to showcase that as well. All right, custom dots in 240Z. I showcased that in the uh, highlights of the A case. 67 Mustang and the Shark Bite from 2017. This one is also a 2018 model. Looks awesome in the artwork. You can see that the uh, tire tracks that the models leave in the 2017-18 cards, or 2017 cards are gone here in the 2018 artwork. It's just a little bit different. Love that lowered profile on the uh, on the Mustang. All right, and this one, I've said, I've mentioned that it's kind of based on Junimai's car. He changed the nose on his car, but this is the Fugu Z casting from 2017. All right, Power Surge. Now I'm going to have, this is a 2017 model. I might have a hard time knowing what exactly the 2018 models, new models are. 70 Chevelle SS Wagon. And a very cool kind of daredevil, um, anyway, type of livery. Sting Rod 2. There is your regular treasure hunt. Notice the logo there on the back. So there's your first regular treasure hunt of 2017, or 2018. I'm going to get these years all mixed up. There's the logo right on the back, and I'm looking to see, yeah, notice, I'm going to try in here, I'll do it upside down. If you look real closely, you can see the logo there on the card behind the, behind the model, you see that? All right, so there's your regular treasure hunt. We'll keep going. Justice League Batmobile, two of those, another Sky-Fi. You can see the Justice League, DC Justice League logo. So I guess that's from the movie, right? That's coming out. I'm assuming. All right. This is a new model for 2017. The Corvette C7 Z06 convertible. Beautiful blue color. No new model um, uh, signifier there on the card. But uh, we do know it is a new model. And then the Skyjacker Ram 1500. That looks cool. Skyjacker is a brand that's been working with both Mattel brands, Matchbox and Hot Wheels. 95 Mazda RX-7, Dune It Up, and the Cloak and Dagger. Talked about the RX-7 on LamleyGroup.com. We have seen this in the P case in blue, the Q case Kmart card in red, and now the 2018 A case. That is three months in a row with the RX-7, and there is that beautiful yellow version, kind of based on the initial D uh, car from the initial D series out of Japan. Loosely based, we'll say. This uh, writing right here in Japanese is the Hot Wheels logo. Right there on the door. Okay. Another Acura, a Growler, and a Muscle Speeder. Bump around new for two or you know new livery for two thousand or new deco for two thousand eighteen, and then two of the Nissan Fair Lady Zs, which is from the uh, Q case. It was the super from the Q case, which I opened up in the video that I think I just posted a minute ago, right? A couple days ago. I'm actually looking for that super here on my desk, which is covered in cars. I can't find it. Oh, I know where it is. Look, it's right back there. Anyway, who cares? All right, fast Felion, 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 whatever. You guys were showing me how to do it, but how to say it. I wasn't saying it right. Custom 69 Chevy pickup. We've seen that from the first to market Kmart. And the Hollinator, right? Last from this first side, the HW450F motorcycle. The Bone Shaker, uh, I think there's something significant about that. And then the Volkswagen Kafer Racer. All of these are new decos for 2018. 
I love the bone shaker because I think, is this one of the first ones to have those super large steelies? Those look awesome. You customizers might have fun with that. Look how big those are. That's awesome. And then the uh, Kafer Racer and the Magnus Walker Urban Outlaw livery looks really good. A couple of you made comments that this might be the sleeper of 2000 of the of the A case. I'm with you. I think that the uh, new model in this case is probably the highlight, which hopefully is down here below. But I agree with you on that. Okay. Gonna move this all over here to make some space. All right. Rally Cat, 2018 Deco. We've seen the Camaro Z01 and the Sky Dome. Looks like the Super Chromes are coming back for 2018. I haven't collected any, but they're cool. They're cool. Hey, everybody. Sorry for that cut. We had a little issue with the dog. All resolved. I apologize. Let's get back to it. That's what happens when you film at home. And you have kids and you have... <clears throat> dogs and everything else all right back to the to you it's going to seem like a two second cut here it's more than an hour just so you know okay but that's the magic of editing a video right okay back to the 2018 a case another holdover from the q case the 2017 nissan gtr r35 interesting that we had an orange one in that first part of the case and now we have the gray one you never know sometimes with cases and the assortments Fast FWB or forward. I think that's a holdover from the Q case as well. Sorry for bumping the camera. All right. More holdovers. 67 Pontiac GTO in yellow. And here is new deco for the head starter. Kind of a cool green color, right? Looks kind of nice. We don't have the uh, assortment list, or not the assortment list, but the list of models that are in the 2018. We'll share that once we get it in the 2018 models. We tend to get it towards the end of the year, if at all. Sometimes Hot Wheels may not decide to send it at all. Drift Rod, another holdover. And the Fiat 500. I always like seeing this casting. I really like the casting. Not terribly keen on the deco on this one. Kind of cool, kind of racing deco. Uh, I like the plain ones that they did. What was it, white? And then the police one. But the Fiat 500 is a really nice casting. Okay. There's my dog again. Okay. All right. I think this is your highlight of the 2018 A case. Another Skyline. The 82 Nissan Skyline R30. We'll do some showcasing on all the new Skylines. There's a lot coming. This is the first of four that we know of coming in 2018. We have the R30 right now, the R33, I think in the next case, and then we have two in car culture, the C210 and the uh, Hakoska Wagon. So the, uh, that I think, I don't remember when that one's coming, but I don't actually know when they are coming. I know the C210 is in Japan Historics. Anyway, lots of Skylines coming, lots of Japanese cars. Uh, there's the what for two. So let's take a look at this one. My friend Jay Co owns one of these R30s, so he is beside himself stoked. If you look at any coverage for the uh, Japanese Classic Car Show, you'll see Jay's R30 Skyline Showcase there. And it's fact, it's exactly like this. It's got gold wheels. It has the uh, red panda look. And even the RS Turbo, which is hard to see here. There you go. You can see the light there on the black part of it. Rio Asada designed this. And it's really nice to see the grill, the headlights part of the window piece, and then the uh, rear taillights done, which I think Nissan really likes the taillights done for their Skylines because that's such a signature part of these cars. So I am thrilled to see this. I know many, many, many of you are, and it's nice to see two of those in the case. Boom car. So that's the first, to, the second deco now for 2018. Renault Sports, that's uh, RS01. That is a holdover from 2017. More holdovers with the Viper, but here is the new color for the Acura NSX, the 1990 Acura NSX. At first, this, the five spoke seemed like an interesting choice, like kind of an odd choice. But when you think about it, when you think about this car and the era it comes from, I think these are actually quite appropriate. So, you know, you'll see an updated, you know, someone who has a new NSX with more low profile tires. But back in the day, this is pretty much what they would have looked like. 
So very cool. Nice to see the rear tail lights done. The front has oh, no emblem on the front, which is interesting. I like that one. I, the last year's with the deco on the side, I wasn't too keen on, but uh, they've done the plain ones, what red, white, blue, which was a super treasure on a couple years ago, and now gray. I'm happy with that. I'll collect those. Hold over in the Camaro. Mad Props is new. Looks nice. Mad Props is new for this year. A new color for this year. I don't, it's not a new model. I should probably be more clear on that. More holdovers in the uh, Corvette Racer. And then the Milano. That clearly because of the um, the card art, that's a 2018 model. It's just a return. And it looks like they do that with most of their licensed models is they'll release them two years in a row. Licensed meaning um, like a movie entertainment theme type model. So I have no idea if that's different from the uh, from the first one. Maybe that base in blue is. I'm just not interested enough to figure it out. Maybe you guys can. McLaren P1 and the Volkswagen Golf MK7, which is a 2018 model, but we saw that in the Kmart case as a first-to-market car. We've also seen the custom Chevy pickup, but the uh, and the Embosser, right? That's new for it, is it? No, because that's a 2017 card, right? So. I tend to lose track on those. And last but not least, three holdovers from 2017, the custom Pontiac Firebird, which is an awesome, awesome model. Never go wrong with that one. And then the uh, Fast FWD or whatever you call it. So there you go. There is your 2018 A-Case. We are underway with the 50th anniversary of Hot Wheels. Should be a fun year, should be a fun ride. We'll be doing uh, unboxings of U.S. and international cases. Should be pretty exciting. Thanks to ANJ Toys for sending this one over. We'll talk to you guys later. Lots and lots and lots to come. Bye.